Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 19, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 218. In this episode, updates on Bai Lu, Xu Kai, and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, the cast of Joy of Life appear on the Chinese variety TV show Trump Card. A few episodes ago, I did a Rumor Raiders segment about netizens thinking that Xiao Zhan would not return for Joy of Life Season 2 simply because he didn't appear on an episode of Trump Card with the rest of the Joy of Life cast. I wasn't very convinced with that logic and ultimately gave it a 1 out of 5 stars rating. I just think there could be many other reasons why Xiao Zhan didn't appear on that episode of Trump Card and doesn't necessarily mean that he's out of Season 2. Anyway, that episode of Trump Card is now out. And it was actually a very fun and involved episode. They didn't just show up and talk for 5 minutes, they showed up in full costume and indulged in an hour and 40 minutes of play acting, games, and other fun activities. So who was there? Well, there were many of them, looked like around 10 or more, but the main cast were Zhang Ruoyun, Li Qing, Guo Qiling, Song Yi, Tian Yu, and Li Chun. The cast confirmed that season 2 will begin filming at the end of this year. They did not discuss who's coming back and who's not. For those of you who are interested, the Trump Card episode is season 5 episode 9 and is available on YouTube. Song of Youth is an upcoming costume drama starring Bai Lu and Wang Yizhe. They held their booting ceremony on April 17th. There's Bai Lu burning incense as they do in booting ceremonies and Wang Yizhe sporting the mask which has become a common thing now. And there's Yu Zheng, the producer, giving a speech. Yu Zheng is the man behind successful drama such as The Story of Yanxi Palace, Arsenal Military Academy, and Winter Begonia. He's also known for pushing stars under his management hard. He's often credited for putting stars like Wu Jingyan and Xu Kai on the map and boosting their careers. He is, however, no stranger to controversy and lawsuits, mostly for plagiarism issues. So although there's no doubt he's achieved success as a producer and manager, the way he's achieved this success is questionable to say the least for many. Set in the Ming Dynasty, Song of Youth tells the story of a true performer played by Bai Lu who meets a rich young master played by Wang Yizhe. They fall in love, get married, and all is bliss until she finds out that his family might be responsible for her father's death. Although it doesn't sound like a comedy, it is listed as one. Bai Lu's most recent drama was Lucky's First Love with Xing Zhaoling. She wrapped filming Love is Sweet with Liu Luo at the beginning of April and is now already shooting a new drama. Wang Yizhe has had many supporting roles in Yu Zheng dramas including The Story of Yanxi Palace and Arsenal Military Academy. This will be his first starring role in a drama and it's a big step up opposite an established female lead. So undoubtedly there is pressure, but like the saying goes, pressure creates diamonds. And speaking of Yu Zheng's artists, Xu Kai will be teaming up with Zhou Dongyu for a new drama. Gu Jue Zhuan, literally translated as Legend of Gu Jue, is an upcoming costume drama starring Zhou Dongyu and Xu Kai. It's based on a novel of the same name and was actually announced in 2014 but was suspended for unreported reasons. It seems now they're back on track. Zhou Dongyu plays an immortal who wakes up with amnesia after a long sleep, and by long I mean hundreds of years, and discovers that her former lover, played by Xu Kai, has been waiting for her for 60,000 years. In case you guys haven't already noticed, it's a fantasy drama. Zhou Dongyu's last starring role in a drama was in 2019's Behind the Scenes with Luo Jing, but more recently she made headlines with the movie Better Days with Jackson Yi. Xu Kai's most recent drama was Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain. Before that, he starred in Arsenal Military Academy and The Legends with Bai Lu. Gu Jue Zhuan is slated for a 2021 release. Love a Lifetime is an upcoming costume drama starring Ellen Ren and Zhang Huiwen. It was recently entitled Revenge and Sacrifice, which to me sounds like a much cooler name. It seems like whoever's in charge of giving these dramas English titles always comes up with something simpler and add the word love into it. Another example is The Killing of 3000 Crows, which ended up becoming Love of Thousand Years. In any case, Love a Lifetime tells the story of a young master who rescues a young maiden who's searching for a magical healing pearl. They fall in love, but later discover that their families have a generations-long vendetta against each other. Ellen Run recently starred in Under the Power with Seven Tan. 
Zhang Huiwen was most recently in Nirvana and Fire 2, and she gave a memorable performance in that. Love a Lifetime is slated for 40 episodes, the maximum allowed for TV dramas these days, and is heavily rumored to premiere sometime this month. I will keep you guys updated on that and the English sub situation as well. And it's Sunday today, so time for the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. Edition 16, April 19, 2020. The data is provided by V Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. The list is based on view counts on Tencent, Aichi, and Yuku, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. Number 10, The Sleuth of Ming Dynasty. The costume drama stars Darren Chen and Fu Mengguo. Number 9, Forget You Remember Love. The modern drama stars Fair Sing and Garvey Jin. Number 8, Novoland Castle in the Sky 2. The costume drama stars Jeremy Xu and Yuvan Wang. Number 7, Reborn. The modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhao Ziqi. Number 6, The Best of You in My Mind. The costume drama stars Gala Zhang and Irene Song. Number 5, Love of Thousand Years. The costume drama stars Zhao Lu Si and Zheng Ye Cheng. Number 4, Winter Begonia. The Republican era drama stars Huang Xiaoming and Andrew Yin. Number 3, If There Is No Tomorrow. The modern drama stars Guo Jingfei and Vivi Miao. Number 2, The Lost Caverns. The modern drama stars Pan Yueming and Kitty Zhang. And number 1, My Roommate is a Detective. The Republican era drama stars Hu Yitian and Leon Zhang. So My Roommate is a Detective takes over the number one spot from last week's champ, The Lost Caverns. These two dramas have been duking it out for the top spot for the past few weeks. Love the competition. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. These are based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Lucid Water Lush Mountain. The modern drama stars Yang Shuo and Pan Ziling. Number 9, Realize Our Dreams. The modern drama stars Xia Yang and Song Yunhao. Number 8, A Promise No Regret. The modern drama stars Guo Guangping and Fu Miao. Number 7, A Hawthorne Tree Far Away. The modern drama stars Wu Qijiang and Ma Li. Number 6, My Brother, My Sister in Law. The modern drama stars Wang Ting and Wang Yajie. Number 5, Skate into Love. The modern drama stars Janice Wu and Steven Zhang. Number 4, I Will Find You a Better Home. The modern drama stars Sun Li and Luo Jing. Number 3, If Time Flows Back. The modern drama stars Jing Dong and Rulu Jiang. Number 2, Hunting. The modern drama stars Wang Kai and Angel Wang. And number 1, Serenade of Peaceful Joy. The costume drama stars Wang Kai and Maggie Jiang. Wang Kai dominates Chinese TV, starring in the top two dramas. Hunting, which just recently premiered, debuts impressively at number 2, whereas Serenade of Peaceful Joy remains champion from last week. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Del Raba. She recently starred in Eternal Love of Dream with Van Gogh Gao. Number 9, Zhu Yilong. He recently started filming The Rebel with Tong Yao. Number 8, Maggie Jiang. She currently stars in Serenade of Peaceful Joy with Wang Kai. Number 7, Zhao Lu Si. She recently starred in Love of Thousand Years with Zheng Ye Cheng. Number 6, Leon Zhang. He currently stars in My Roommate as a Detective with Hu Yitian. Number 5, Hu Yitian. He currently stars in My Roommate as a Detective with Leon Zhang. Number 4, Huang Xiaoming. He currently stars in Winter Begonia with Andrew Yin. Number 3, Xiao Zhan. He recently released a cover of the song Ode to Red Plum Blossoms. Number 2, Wang Yibo. He is currently filming Legend of Fei with Zhao Liyi. And number 1, Wang Kai. He currently stars in Hunting and Serenade of Peaceful Joy. Expectedly, Wang Kai sits at the summit, and expectedly, Xiao Zhan and Wang Yipo continue to grace the list with their presence. Hu Yitian and Leon Zhang also remain in the list, as their drama My Roommate is a Detective continues its fine form. So there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what drama's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And before I let you guys go, I just want to reiterate my message for everyone to stay strong and continue the fight. We're starting to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel where I'm from, and wherever you're watching in the world, you will too if you haven't already. 
Lastly, this show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. And if you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer your question at the end of one of my episodes. A shout out to Julia Hu, who recently became a patron. Thank you for your support. And to everyone, stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers. Music